a real shock when everything that you thought was stable and safe in the world is falling apart around you. I was quite broken after the storm. The kids would make remarks like, are we homeless now? And I was like, no, we're not homeless. It's just, you know, we need, we need help. Myers and we just got our truck unloaded with debris removal kits and tarps in response to Hurricane Ian and we're about to start going into communities and handing them out. Oh, you're welcome. I appreciate yeah, it very of course. much. I think this lady right here also needs some. We lost a lot in our own home but we're very lucky to not have any physical damage to the home and we're safe and secure. We've got a couple kids out here and just trying to help out the community. Wow. This is absolutely stunning. This is a pretty special day for us. That generator that the core group has just donated and brought to us is going to allow us to set up the fridges, to put medication because that's a concern, and to really bring a social aspect. We'll be able to have activities in this hall, so thanks. We're gonna make you part of our family. Oh, I'm, I'm coming. You know, I just live down the street, so. Excellent. Expect me for spaghetti dinners twice no a problem. year. No problem, you will have Complimentary spaghetti dinner. <laughs> uh, now it's like a oh, cool. Thank you so much. treatments and a lot of other medical things and I was unsure if I'd be able to continue my care had I left and so um, we rolled the dice on this one and boy oh boy were we wrong I found more faith that night with water coming in the door than I'd found my entire life you really have to realize that there's not much you can control you're a very very small piece of the puzzle went through Hurricane Charlie in 2004 and it was, you know, devastating, but it never had taken the uh, bridge in Mount Lachey. Just to even think that, you, you, you know, the road didn't survive, I don't think my trailer is going to survive, you know, so that was just, it was heartbreaking. I could not be okay if I had nowhere to sleep. And the wonderful folks at CORE, you know, put a roof over my head. Oh my God, it's raining. <laughs> and I got a new roof, so my, I'm, it's not gonna leak. I'm one of the lucky ones. And there's thousands of my fellow citizens that are homeless, that are living in cars, that are staying in hotels, that don't know what their next step's gonna be. I at least know that I've got a good basis here and I can start to rebuild and, and put, piece things together. It's important that groups like yours exist because uh, it made the difference between this being just a bad situation to something that could have been catastrophic for me. They were just my angels that just showed up. However they got here, I'm very thankful because I don't know what I would do. <laughs> you know, it was bad, but it could have been much worse. And because of the generosity and the, and the, the kind thoughtfulness of people like CORE, I have a home.